Well, the latest, or rather the last of its kind, is back in business for you to use. A covered bridge reopened this afternoon after a lengthy fix-up. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch was there today, but also takes us back in time. Way back when, before horseless carriages, just horse carriages, the Stone Lick Williams Corner Covered Bridge. I remember this bridge from my childhood. Was part of Claremont County. As a kid, we used to come on this bridge a lot, and we'd roll the windows down and hear the thump, 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 thump. Yeah. <laughs> but the 1878 vintage bridge, the last of 25 in Claremont, was closed in 2010 after a heavy truck tried going over it. Repairs began, but last year, the unfinished structure collapsed into Stone Lick Creek. Do you ever think this thing would be open again? Uh, at the time that it went down, I didn't think it would. But nearly one million dollars later, state and federal funding, plus money from the National Historic Bridge Preservation Program, this bridge was alive again. Did it ever cross your mind, eh, let's not spend the money? No, no. It's our last bridge, covered bridge in Claremont County. Uh, you know, doing anything other than the restoration, uh, rehabilitation, uh, was, was never an option. According to the Claremont County Engineer's Office, legend has it that covered bridges were covered to prevent horses from becoming spooked when they crossed the bridge. Because there was a roof, the horse would feel comfortable, like it was in a barn, and not get all scared that it was up on an elevated structure over the water. Reality is the wooden supports lasted longer when protected from the elements by the cover. This bridge was very unique at the time. It was built in 1878. It was built of a, a type called the Howe Truss type which is where poles went up and down instead of horizontal to hold up the bridge. A trio of Model T Fords dating to around World War I were the first vehicle to cross the 140-foot span. The same kind of cars which were once regular visitors. It's fun. Uh, we can say I love driving the cars. I mean, they're, they're, they're different than the modern cars. They're just totally different experience driving. You use both hands and both feet. And now the single lane bridge is back, good as new, even better. A bridge not only across a creek, but a bridge to the past. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And I can tell you that that bridge is on a route that's really popular among uh, local cyclists, including me. So we are really excited to have it back open. And that covered bridge, by the way, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. More than 50% of the original timbers were preserved and used in the fix-up. Looks great.